All right, gonna do a quick video here of the Mussolini uh, Burl Top Tele Kit. I got it off eBay about three or four months ago. They were going for about 120, 140 bucks. They must not have sold very well because now you can get them for 80 or 90 bucks shipped, which is good for me because I would have bought one at the other price. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to unbox this. Uh, Dan from Guns and Guitars. A little bit of a horror story about the packing, so we'll check it out. All right, so straight away, doesn't look nearly as bad as old Dan Dan's unfortunate experience. So I just wanted to say that this is being marketed now. being marketed now as uh, a burl top but when they originally posted it was uh, called spalted maple uh, looking at it and there's a couple of small small voids nothing big uh, I'm kinda of the mine that the veneer is so thin that if I put a couple of things I can build, probably build that up with a true oil uh, it is not drilled. Uh, it's probably the roughest finish of any of the kits that I've built thus far. Uh, back looks pretty good. Uh, no, no screw holes that I can see. Uh, and also this, this shape here, as some have commented, is not standard telly, but I'm almost convinced that I have seen fenders, maybe custom shop bullshit or something that had that. I do, I had a Japanese 52 reissue at one point and I really, really like the binding. I kind of wish this was bound on both sides. But that looks good. A bag of supplies, pretty much industry standard. Even comes with high quality strings, no doubt. Uh, you know, everyone always throws away these cords, but I find them incredibly convenient for chucking in your gig bag with, you know, for an emergency or uh, just so you have something to tune. Usually I use a, a little one footer for setups and whatever, but it is convenient. Let's take a look at that neck. Oh, screw. Standard panel, panel shape, as you can see. The, the woodwork is pretty rough. Holy smokes. The, um, Seems to be a completely unfinished, untreated uh, fretboard. It's fine. The frets actually don't look too bad. Mm, I don't love the real squared offness of this 22nd fret overhang bit. I'm probably going to round that off. Uh, again, not not drilled for anything. Standard paddle. I very much like the Tele standard Tele style of headstock, so that's what it's going to be on there. Uh, all of my bases that I've built have that headstock. I just happen to love it. Uh, nut is not installed, not a problem. But usually these kits come with that. The screw holes. Uh, if anyone happens to see this, and before I get it done, I'm going to take my time with this kit. It's kind of a neat looking piece of wood. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it yet. Maybe sunburst, maybe a transparent tint. Who knows? Who knows? But overall, looks pretty good. Um, oh, yeah, so if anyone has any, any ideas on how to treat the actual 
playing surface of the fretboard. Uh, neck pocket's kind of loose. Probably going to have to shim that. Certainly not as tight as I would like. But oh well, oh well. Oh well, I think that it should be pretty alright once we're done with it. Uh, as I said, the veneer is pretty thin, so a lot of this, these ugly bits, I think building up, after tinting, building up with some true oil will probably be alright. And you now it's spalted or burled, depending on what you're going with. So, you know, color match and stuff really not all that important. You know, those light spots in the voids should take color just fine of the tent. And then the if say I go with a sunburst, the out, outer side's all just going to be dark, which appears to be where most of the voids are, anyways. Uh, there's one right there that will show a couple of these rough bits. are going to have to be filled in, you know, prior to prior to finish, final finish. But I'm planning on using probably 10 coats of true oil on it. I think it's going to be a pretty good project. I'm very much looking forward to it. My arsenal has been missing a telly for some time. And you know, honestly, half the fenders I play at guitar centers. Nothing to write home about. So I should at least be able to get this to Mexican built or Indonesian, very least, Indonesian built thunder standards. So that's unboxed, and I'm not going to open up the hardware because actually it's going to be some time before I get this even started. I have a few projects ahead of it. But looks pretty good. Can't wait. That white binding is going to really pop. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the back. Probably a gloss brown, dark brown like a walnut color. And then the front, uh, I'm torn between like a light, like an amber, a honey amber, just translucent, because there is some, some pretty pattering in the wood. A little bit of flame here or there, maybe. That may look really awesome. If I cover it up with black around the edges, I may, may ruin it. So, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, sorry about the camera work. I'm not Dan of Guitars and Guns and Guitars. I'm simply a simple man trying to make his way in the universe. Out!